Well, greetings. Uh, this is Pastor Carlin Hours here at Oregon Lutheran Church, and we're going to continue on with our, uh, how shall we say, our Common Sense Theology blog. Uh, today, we would like to begin to look at the Apostles' Creed. I know a lot of people are kind of leery of creeds, but creeds are a way for us to confess our faith. We're told to confess our faith of God and a lot of people will tell me, hey, I don't know what my faith is. I don't know what to tell people when I'm to, to witness to them about God. Well, if you know the creed, you know the basics of your faith. And we're going to begin with the first I believe. There are three I believes. I believe in God the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. That's the first I believe. Now, to begin with, this lets us know our position in the creation. God is the Creator, and we are the creation. Again, it lets us know our right place uh, in the cosmos, if you will. And then again, we are reminded of who God is, of who He is. He is our Father. He is our Heavenly Father, and He is better than any earthly father. He is wonderful to us. He is great to us, and He takes care of us, providing all of our needs, giving us this wonderful world that we live in, for providing our home, our food, our water, all of our needs taken care of. So he is our father taking care of us. And then we go to the next part of this. I believe in God the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. He does have all power in between that. But he is also the Creator of heaven and earth. Now, how did he do this? A lot of people get all caught up in God did this, God did that. Well, here's the thing. I just believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. How he did it is not that important. There are many ways that you can parse out the first 11 chapters of Genesis, if you will, and the creation story. But the main thing is we can always go back to saying, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. He is our creator. He is our Lord. He is wonderful to us. And He created all this beautiful world in which we live. Now, the downfall of this is that we are here and that we have fallen. Not God. We fell. God created this world in a wonderful and a great way. And one day, we'll go back to that state at some point when we get to go be with Him. But now, in between, we are here to live out this creation, to take care of this creation. Now, a lot of people want to take a literal view of creation. That's fine. you got problems when you want to do that. A lot of people like to talk about gap theories and things, that there's a billions of years gap between the first and the second verse uh, of the Bible. Well, I don't know about that. A lot of people like to talk about evolution. Now, here's the thing. I, I'm not very big on evolution, but if the Creator chose to use that, then that, so, so be it. Some people like to look at the ancient scriptures as an analogy or myth. Well, there's one good thing about that. Myth does have truth within it. It tells us a greater story. But no matter how you parse this thing out, the main thing is that we can always go back and rely on this. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And again, as long as we believe that He has created that. Now, this belief in Him and He being the Creator does not come from us. It comes from without us. Because I cannot believe that God spoke this into existence by my own rational thought. It just can't work. So that has to come from without me. The faith comes from Him. He places that in me. Just as I cannot believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior and that He rose from the dead without that faith coming from outside of me, from God, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, placing that within me. So today I want you to always remember, He is our Father. He is our Creator. He is also Almighty. He has all power. And He is also the one who created the heavens and the earth in which we reside. And I pray today that we as believers of God would always remember who He is and what He has done and how He has taken care of us through this great creation. Many blessings to each and every one of you. If you have any questions and you'd like to talk with us, we would love for you to ask those questions by Facebook, by our website, email, however you want to do that. Just let us know. Also, we're Teaching Church. And if you'd like to find a place that you can come and you can hear the Word of God, we can't give you a lot of fluff, can't give you a rock band, can't give you a cool pastor, but we can give you this and promise you this. We will give you the Word of God. And I think that's sufficient. Amen.